YouTube, what's going on? Witty P coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're gonna talk some. We're gonna talk some hoops. We're gonna talk some ball. Talk some of my top East Coast guards. You know the East Coast guards bring that flash. They bring that swag to the game. Got my Kyrie jersey on. We're gonna talk some hoops. We're gonna talk some ball. Some of my top guards. East Coast, you know New York, Jersey. You know I'm gonna come from that area today. It's gonna be a good one. If you're in the hoops, you you're in the ball. Stick with me before I start the video. Please watch the entire video. And if you like it, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this and just content about sports and various topics. Let's get it. We get some of my top guards from the East Coast. You know, you see the thumbnail, you know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. Some of my favorite guards from the East Coast. Kyrie Irving. Representing. Got the jersey on. We're Brooklyn at. Kyrie. How we bring that swag, that flash to the game. Some people say he's the most skilled player in the league. It's up for debate. No, it's not up for debate, actually. Some people say he's the most skilled player ever. Kyrie can do everything. And when you think of East Coast guards, you think of guards that can mostly just dribble. Just dribble all day long, just dribble. But these guards that I'm going to talk about today, along with Kyrie Irving, they can shoot the rock, too. You know, they can shoot the rock, too. When you think of, like I say, New York guards, you think of more so just handling the rock, patting the rock. These guys can shoot, like Kyrie Irving. He got the mid-range, he got the three ball. Post you up, got the left hand, right hand, everything, like... He got the floaters. What I like about Kyrie, he one of the few guards I've seen since Isaiah Thomas. He'll be 10 feet, 10 feet from the basket and still shoot his mid-range. Like when most guys would do a floater, you know, or a layup, Kyrie will still shoot his jump shot. <laughs> 10 feet from the basket. Love Kyrie game. Kyrie one of my guys, so he come in at number one for me. Coming in at number two, Stephon Marbury, Starberry. Steph had it all too, the Flash, Coney Island's finest. Marbury, Abraham Lincoln. Marbury had it all. He had the jump shot, quick. He had strength. He was a strong point guard. Stephon Marbury was a strong point guard. Steph played in his hometown, too. Played with the Knicks. Steph played in New York. Played in the Garden. Abraham Lincoln, though. That's where Steph went to high school. Steph McDonald's All-American. Along with Kyrie Irving. All these guys are McDonald's All-Americans also. That I'm going to talk about in this video. Yeah, Marbury, one of my favorite guards. I wish him and KG could have stuck together a little longer. You know, where he first started. That would have been a crazy duel along with, you know, Kobe and Shaq coming up. But Steph and KG was one of those duos you feel like, man, what, what could have happened? Steph wanted to be closer to home, so he ended up going to New Jersey. Steph ended up wanting to be closer to home, so he ended up going to New Jersey. So him and Kyrie got some little... Some ties. Both play for Brooklyn. Both got that flash in their game. But yeah, Steph played Nets, the Suns, the Knicks. Had a short, very short stint in Boston. Then he went to China and took over. Steph went to China and was Jordan over there. Stephon Marbury was Jordan over in China. He was Jordan over there. Like, they praised Steph over there, so. Steph coming in number two for me. Coney Island's finest coming in number three. Kenny the Jet Smith for three. Kenny the Jet Smith had a jump shot. That's why I like him too. Like when you think, like I said, when you think of New York guards, you think of ball handlers. Guys that can just handle the rock, pat the rock. But Kenny the Jet Smith, get that ball and go. He didn't play with the rock. Kenny the Jet Smith, he just get the rock and go. And he was a good shooter. And he had quiet, he would have some quiet hops too. Kenny Jeff Smith was in the dunk contest. 
won back-to-back -back championships with the Rockets, 94-95 with Olajuwon. I like that squad. Clyde Drexler, Robert Ory was on that squad. Mario Eli. I'm a guru when it comes to hoops, so. Yeah, that Rocket squad was crazy. That young rookie Sam Cassell. Vernon Maxwell. Rocket squad was nice, so. But yeah, Kenny the Jet Smith had a jump shot, went to North Carolina. McDonald's All-American also. Kenny Jet Smith was nice. Role player in the league, though. In the NBA. Role player. Coming in at number three for me. I did four guys. Coming in at number four. This guy didn't play ball in Jersey, New York, but he was born in Jersey. Mike Bibby. He ended up moving to California. You know, his pops coach USC, Henry Bibby. Yeah, my baby went to Arizona. He moved to the West Coast, but he was born in Jersey, so I had to throw him on here. He's one of my favorite guards, too. My baby, a clutch, clutch guy. Just ask the Lakers, the Lakers killer. My baby can play some ball. Crafty. My baby, crafty. Him and the, him and the Kings got cheated by the refs. The refs took that game from him, but it's the Lakers. King should have definitely been in that NBA Finals 2002. 2002, but Mike Bibby played with the Kings, the Knicks, Miami Heat, Memphis Grizzlies. Started out with Memphis, actually. Got traded for Jason Williams. Got the Kings over the hump. That was the thing. Jason Williams brought that flash. He reminds you of a New York guard almost. Jason Williams, he brought that flash and no-look passes, all that. Jason Williams, white chocolate, they called it. He didn't have that consistent play that Mike Bibby had. Take care of the rock, you know. That pick and roll game that him and Weber had in Sacramento was crazy. Mike Bibby and C. Webb. The pick and roll game was nasty. Yeah, he used to be a Laker killer. He used to kill Derek Fisher so much they had to put Kobe on Mike Bibby. It got that bad. No lie. Mike Bibby was clutch. Arizona, national champion. Mike Bibby, he pushed the ball too. He don't play with the rock. Mike Bibby don't don't dribble that much. He just he like Kenny the Jet Smith. He get the ball and go. He passed ahead. Mike Bibby passed ahead. He don't play with the rock. Mike Bibby had a mid range though. He come off that screen with Weber. That's money. That's money. But yeah. It's Mike Bibby and Kenny the Jet Smith probably, you know some of the more clutch guys on the. Catch and shoot side. Hit some big shots. Kyrie Irving, Stephon Marbury. They get where they want on the court. What they handle. Jump shot. I love Steph and Kyrie. Because they, they coming at you. They coming at you. And they can get to where they want on the court. Steph and Kyrie. So. Some of my top guards on the East Coast. New York. New Jersey. Had to represent Kyrie today when I made this video. So I'm always in, you know, and wherever I'm talking about, like football, I'm gonna be at the football field. I might be at the bleachers. You know, if I'm talking basketball, I'm gonna be at the court. I'm gonna always be, you know, make you make you feel what I'm talking about. So. That's the energy I'm gonna put out every video. So I dropped a video today, my week three standouts in the NFL. So it's a sports day. Coming heavy on the sports today. So so my top East Coast guards came with Kyrie, Steph, Kenny the Jet Smith, Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby's a McDonald's All-American too. Played in that game with Kobe Bryant. 96 or 95. Yeah, Mike Bibby and Kobe Bryant, they got some ties. They already have some ties. So. Rest in peace to Kobe the Great. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Some of my top East Coast guards, some guys I left out, you know, from New York. You got Mark Jackson. He can pass the rock. He couldn't shoot that well, but 
can pass that rock though. Top five all time in assists. Got guys like him out there, Kenny Anderson. They just put out the not too long ago. New York City point guards. So you got some guys out there. Nate Tiny Archibald. Some guys that's, you know, I could have put in this video, but these some of my favorite guys. These are some of my favorite guys, so. Sebastian Telfair. He was he was slick. Went to Abraham Lincoln also. So let me know what y'all think. Talking some hoops. I'm a hoops guru also. I love hoops. So drop some down in the comments. Let me know what you think. You know I can't stop coming with that fire today. Talking hoops. So comment, like, subscribe, share the video, say the video. Ready to be coming back with another one. Let's get it.